In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can actually fix this issue right here of having your iPad stuck on the screen which says that your iPad is disabled. Try again in a few minutes or in worst case, it might appear connect to iTunes. Okay, so the process is exactly the same that I'll be showing to you, whether you've got in here a minutes message or a connect to iTunes message. Normally, initially your iPhone stays on this screen right here and after trying the wrong password many times, then your iPad moves into the connect into iTunes message right there or any other message that might appear here depending on your software version. Do not worry, in this video I'll show you how to fix this issue and all you need to do is just follow the steps that I'll be showing to you carefully step by step in sequence so you actually do not miss anything in here hey my name is Shaq and in this channel i help you fixing tech related issues so if you're into tech content consider subscribing here to the channel in this video i'll show you how to fix this issue in my case i've got in here an ipad mini which is an old one but do not worry because the process is exactly the same regardless of your ipad model okay whether you've got a much newer model an ipad mini an ipad pro or anything else this is going to help you fixing this issue now in order to perform these steps before we even start i'd like to let you guys know that we're going to need a couple things in here you're going to need an ipad you're going to need a laptop which can be a windows pc or a macbook operating mac os software and at last you're going to need a usb cable okay this can be a lightning to usb cable as well as a lightning to type c cable depending on your laptop if you've got a laptop that only has the usb entrance then you're gonna need this one obviously and if you've got a much recent laptop with a type c entrance instead of the usb one then you're gonna need this usb cable in here now one thing to take note if you're trying to connect the usb cable into your computer and you're actually unable to do so this might be because you might be having a charging only cable so nowadays we have charging only cables which are cables that do not transfer any data and these are the cables we want to avoid while performing this tutorial because we need to update our software and data needs to be transferred from your laptop into your iPad. So try changing your cable if when you connect your iPad into your laptop, nothing happens, okay? Try changing your cable first. And also if you have any doubt or any question, do leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to reply to you and help you fixing the issue. Now, moving into our laptop, in my case, I've got in here a MacBook Air, but if you've got a different laptop model, do not worry. I'll show you how you can actually fix the same issue on a different laptop. Now, let's jump straight into our laptop. So here we are on my MacBook Air. In my case, as you guys can see in here, I'm running a MacBook Air with macOS Big Sur software, okay? Now, if you've got a Windows PC or a MacBook with a software equivalent to macOS Mojave or anything that has came before macOS Mojave, the procedure will be slightly different at the beginning, but do not worry, I'll show you how this will be done in a few minutes. In my case, I've got in here macOS Big Sur, which is a software that has came after macOS Mojave. So in my case, the initial step is a bit different from the people having Windows PCs and an older version of macOS software. Do not worry, let's continue with the process. The first thing we're gonna be doing in here is actually hopping into our internet browser and then we're gonna hop into this website which is ipsw.me. Do not worry because the link to this website is actually in the description box below and all you need to do is just tap in the link in the description box below. So over here, we're going to select the product that we've got. What we'll be doing here is actually download the operating system in order to install it, okay, the software, to reinstall it into our iPad. So let's select iPad because we've got an iPad device. And then next up, we're going to scroll down and select the iPad model that we've got, okay. In my case, I've got in here an iPad mini, okay. Here we go, iPad mini. Wi-Fi. This is the one that I've got. I'll tap here on iPad mini, which is my model. And if you've got any doubt, hop into Google or check your iPad box in order to find out which model of iPad you exactly have, because you should select 
the exact correct iPad model, otherwise you'll be facing issues while installing a wrong software into your iPad. Next up, over here, as you guys can see, we've got a list of softwares and the release date, okay? So you wanna make sure you download the latest software for your iPad. As you guys can see, this one has been released on 18th July, this one on 4th August 2016, and the latest one is here on 25th August 2016. So this is the most recent software update. I'm gonna tap once on the latest one, and then I'm gonna scroll down and then I'll tap here on download to start the download. So tap on download and usually this occupies a few gigabytes. So this will take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. As you guys can see, my download has started in here and it says that it will take around 20 to 18 minutes in order to complete the download of 1.4 gigabytes. So now let's just sit back, wait and relax until the download gets completed. So once the download is complete, we're going to open up our downloads folder. Okay, so here we go, files. And then as you guys can see, I'm here on downloads and this is my download. So here's my software, which is iPad mini 9.3.5 G36 IPSW. So this is actually the software that I've just downloaded and I'll be installing into my iPad in a few seconds. Now, what we'll be doing next is the following. If you've got in here a Windows PC or a MacBook running macOS Mojave or older software, you're gonna need to download iTunes, okay? So in order to download iTunes, you're gonna tap in the link in the description box below. I've got a link from where you can actually download iTunes and install it in your computer. If you have a software which is much recent than macOS Mojave and a MacBook device, iTunes has been discontinued and you'll be following the exact same procedure that I'll be showing to you right now. So right now we're about to connect our iPad into our MacBook or laptop. And before we do this, we need to turn off our iPad. So in order to turn off, we'll press and hold the power button right here. And then we're gonna slide to power off our iPad device. So once our iPad is actually turned off, we need to connect it through USB cable into our laptop device. Now, before connecting, there's a little trick in here. We're gonna connect the laptop end into our laptop device. And then before connecting the other end into our iPad device, we need to perform a few steps in here and please pay attention. We need to put our iPhone in DFU mode and the exact process differs depending on your iPad model. We've got in here two ways of doing this. One, if you've got an old iPad with a physical home button in here, you're gonna be performing the following. You're gonna press the home button along with the power button here on top. So you're gonna press and hold both of the buttons after connecting the USB cable here. Make sure the other end of the USB is already connected to the laptop. So what we'll be doing is we're gonna connect and immediately we're gonna press and hold both of the buttons. And in case you've got a much recent iPad, which doesn't have in here a physical home button, what we'll be doing is we're gonna connect and then immediately we're gonna rapidly press on volume up and then volume down and then press and hold the power button, okay? So this is how it goes. Quickly connect and then immediately volume up, volume down and then press and hold the power button here at the top, okay? So that's for iPads without a physical button. So now let's perform the step here with an iPad with a physical button, which is just like mine. One, two, three, connected pressing and holding immediately both of the buttons. Keep on pressing them, do not release them. Keep on pressing. I'm still pressing both of the buttons. Keep on pressing both of the buttons until you see this screen right here. So once you see your iPad here on this screen, you're gonna immediately release both of the buttons and we're now here in the DFU mode, okay? So once we're here, we're gonna move straight into 
our MacBook or laptop to perform the remaining steps. So once we're here on our computer, in case you've got a Windows PC or a MacBook running macOS Mojave or earlier, you're gonna open up iTunes right now. And if you've got a MacBook running a software later than macOS Mojave, we're gonna open up Finder by tapping right here. And do not worry, just imagine as if this is the same as opening iTunes. So once we're here, we're gonna tap on iPad right here. And this is exactly the same screen that you'll be looking at on your Windows PC. Next up, what we'll be doing is tapping here on restore iPad, but before tapping on restore iPad, there's a small trick in here. Before tapping on restore, if you've got a MacBook device, you're gonna press and hold the option key right here. And then once you're pressing and holding the option key, you're gonna tap here on restore iPad, and then a new window should open up just like this one. Now, if you're running a Windows PC, instead of pressing and holding the option key, you're gonna press and hold the shift key right here, okay? Next up, what we'll be doing here is actually locating our downloaded software and load it into the iPad, okay? So this is the software in my case, as you guys can see, iPad mini 9.3.5, etc. Da -da 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 .ipsw, I'm gonna select it and then I'm gonna tap here on open. Next up, it's gonna ask me this query, your Mac will erase and restore your iPad and will verify the restore with Apple. So I'm gonna tap on restore as my response as I really agree to restore my iPad. So now, as you guys can see in here, we've got extracting software, iPad recovery mode, your Mac is preparing to restore the software on this iPad. All you need to do is just sit back, relax, and wait while the restoration process takes place. Now it's very important that during this process you do not mess with the USB cable. Make sure you do not touch the USB cable because if you touch the USB cable you might cause a miscommunication between the laptop and the iPad. So all you want to do right here is just sit back, relax and wait and let your iPad software update finish okay as you guys can see there's a progress bar here on my ipad running so all we need to do is just sit back wait until this progress bar gets completed so that the software update is completely done okay this is how my laptop looks like we're just waiting till this process gets completed so once the process is done you'll be able to see this message right here which says your iPad has been restored to factory settings and is restarting please leave your iPad connected it will appear in the sidebar after it restarts so all we need to do now is just sit back relax and wait because there's a new progress bar running here on our iPad device so let's just sit back relax and wait and make sure you keep your USB cable connected into your MacBook. As you guys can see right now, the update process is complete and we've got in here our iPad stuck on this message which says hello right here. Right now, you can actually disconnect the USB cable from your computer if you wish to, okay? Uh, we've got hello in different languages in here. What we need to do next is actually swipe oops swipe right okay and then it's gonna ask me for my language in my case I'll be selecting English right here and then it's gonna ask me for my country or region let me quickly select United States right here let's go next up it's gonna ask me to connect into a Wi-Fi network so that I can actually verify my iPad software so here we go I'm already connected to my Wi-Fi network and now it says that it's updating my system it's connecting to Apple servers and now it asks me about location services I'll simply tap on don't enable it right now okay next up it asks me to create a passcode let me quickly create a passcode which will be one two three four let me tap on use code and then again one two three and four next up it will ask me whether i want to restore my data so in your case i pretty much believe that you had an icloud connected into your ipad so you need to tap on restore for my cloud backup to restore all your data that you had backed up and if you have an itunes backup simply tap on restore from itunes backup in my case i'll tap here on set it up as a new ipad as i don't wish to recover any information 
Next up, it's going to ask me to sign in with my Apple ID in order to use my iPad device. So you can type in your Apple ID and your password. In my case, I'll type here on don't have as I don't want to set it up right now. So I'll tap on set up later in settings. Don't use Apple ID. And then let's move into the next step. Here we go. Terms and conditions. We need to agree right here at the bottom. Then it's going to ask me to set up CD. I'll turn it on later. And then don't send diagnostics. Welcome to iPad. Get started. And here we go. My iPad has been successfully restored and we've bypassed the issue of having your iPhone disabled legally here using your iPad. In some situations, it might ask you to unlock your iPad securely with the iCloud details that were stored in your iPad just to make sure that your iPad is not stolen. In my case, Apple didn't ask me because I'm using the same MacBook with an Apple ID that I was using in here to access the restoration process. Thank you so much for making it till the end of this video. If you find my content useful here on YouTube, consider subscribing, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching Fixed by Shack and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.